Hi everyone. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we decided to make a video on some last minute gift ideas for anybody who likes to spend time outdoors or travel or camp or hike. Um, Camping themed. Yep. Uh, the first thing on our list is these Bofang radios. They are GMRS radios. Um, you can buy them in a two pack or a one pack. They're waterproof. Um, they, if you buy the two pack, it comes with a long antenna like this one or the short antennas. They're pretty solid and they have weather channels built into them. This one I lost, it fell out of my pocket. Oh, and yeah. Got ran over by my bike and was laying in the ground for a while. So the antenna is a little bent, but it still works. Thank you for a friend who found it at Core. He had yeah, it on Somebody his table. found it and turned yes. it in. But um, they're great to have if you're in a group driving down the road or a trail or just around camp. If you want to give your kid one and tell them to <laughs> check in once in a while or whatever. And for the two pack with the long antennas, it is $86.99. And the single one is $42.99. So most of the stuff is on Amazon and we'll have Amazon affiliate links in the description of this video. Um, the way those work is if you click on it and buy something, we'll get a small commission from it depending on the item. And uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, so it just helps us out a little bit to keep doing the stuff. Yes. Next up on the list we have a JBL wireless Bluetooth speaker. Which we love. <laughs> yeah, it's not real big, but it sounds good, especially if you just have it sitting on the table next to you by the fire or pool. Pool or we whatever. Use yeah, pool. we used it by the pool a lot this summer. It's also good. It's kind of waterproof is what I know. Yeah, it is waterproof. Oh, yeah, it's waterproof. Yeah. So it's a nice little sturdy speaker to keep on in your gear or in your vehicle or whatever you're doing, your backpack. And, um, yeah, we like it. And like, it sounds pretty good. It yeah, don't get super for small loud, wise. But yeah, you can have it sit next to you playing and still have a conversation. Yeah. And that is currently thirty nine ninety nine. So the next thing is, uh, this is more like a preparedness emergency kind of item. It's a wool blanket. And it comes in this nice little carrying case. It has extra pockets on the front of it. Two pockets. So you can store other other stuff in. And the blanket's really big too, right? Yep. It is a 60 by 90 blanket. And it's 100% wool. It's dirt resistant. So, uh, yeah, it's, if it, it won't get super dirty or it's easy to shake off if it does. <laughs> and it's kind of water resistant. But it'll definitely keep you warm. I keep it in my truck in the winter time. And that is $39.99. So I was going to have an emergency blanket just in case you get stuck in the snow. <laughs> you never know what could happen. Or if you're camping. Yes. And you're sitting outside and want to stay Because it's super small, like the bag. So it's good to put somewhere. <laughs> the next thing I got recently was uh, these wool socks. They're listed as compression socks. Oh. But you can buy them... Um, well, size a little bit bigger if you just want them to fit like a regular sock or you can buy them smaller to fit like a compression sock but i've worn them a few times out camping in the cold and they're pretty nice because they're real high so if you're wearing like a tall boot like i have uh arctic muck boots i like to wear these come up just as high as the boot does so it's pretty comfortable and they kind of form to your feet if you end up getting the right size and they're pretty comfortable and they stay dry and keep you warm and you don't really sweat in them and those are $19.99 and you get two pairs and the next thing on our list is this little uh, carbon monoxide detector um, it's portable it displays the temperature and the humidity we use it in our little teardrop style camper or you could use it in a vehicle or a tent it's got a little clip on it and you can hang it from a hook or any camper too in general yeah I any camper in your house anything it has a built-in battery that lasts for about four or five days um it recharges with usb-c but i've taken it out on the weekend and not charged it and it's still got plenty of battery left in it by the end of the weekend 
and it seems to be pretty accurate. I know I've kind of like put it by little camp stoves while they're running or at my exhaust and it'll start showing a high CO amount right away. So yeah, that's a good thing to have. It's a little more pricey, but for it's $49.99, but hit for the temperature, humidity, plus carbon monoxide detector, it's a pretty good deal. And then after that, we have this first aid kit here. It's pretty basic. Don't It has maybe two compartments inside of it. And it comes with a decent amount of things to get, get you started. But I mainly like the, the bag itself and figured I could modify it and add to it as as I needed. Oh, I am assuming I can fit a lot of stuff. <laughs> it comes with a lot of bandages. Um, some paracord. Uh, like a solar blanket. Cotton balls. Uh, what else do you need? I think there's like a, a little pocket knife in here. But the main thing I like about this bag was that it has a lot of Velcro on the outside of it and like kind of like a little panel here you can attach things to. Is it on the back you can yeah, like hang on, it or something? On the back here that comes off so you can hard mount this to something or strap it around something. Like I strapped this around the headrest and the seat we don't use in the truck. And then you can just put the bag there. And if you need the bag for something to take it away, just peel it off and take it with you real fast in an emergency or something. So peel ready to go, basically. Yep. So then instead of when it's on the floor digging around for it, so it's just easy to go and get. And, and that kit is twenty ninety nine. The next thing we have up here is uh, Mickwick fire starters and these are from mickwickfires.com thank you they sell natural fire starters and they also sell so they're like little candles basically oh, yeah. you light in the fire and it works really great we use them when we camp and uh, it's yeah. great we we yeah. like using them a lot they 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 work really great Instead of using a fire extinguisher, a fire starter just to go and try a ton of times. And they He's also <laughs> sell um, this applewood smoked coffee. It's super good. We love it. Um, <laughs> and right now, it looks like they have a 15% off deal going on their website. <laughs> and free shipping on orders over $35. So... Definitely check them out. So how much are that? If you know anybody that likes fires or coffee, these are nice little gifts. Yeah. And to go along with the coffee, we have this coffee grinder here. And I keep it in the case it came in, just to kind of keep it together. Safe, too. So, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, just Grinds good. Change the size of the grounds, depending on how you're making your coffee. And... Put your beans in the top, and they come out the bottom, ground up. And it comes with this a manual with twenty four coffee recipes. You want to know some coffee recipes? Da da da. <laughs> yeah, and this is forty six ninety nine. This little five hundred watt power inverter. Oui. So, this you can plug into your vehicle through a cigarette lighter. Okay, I have it set up right now. Or it also comes with battery clamps, so you can hook this right up to a 12 volt battery. But it has three USB ports on it, a USB Type C port, and three regular like house outlets on it. Mm -hmm. And it'll do up to 500 watts of power. It has a lot of information on the display on it. It'll tell you like the battery life and or the voltage of the battery and the output power and all that stuff so it's pretty nice for a cheap inverter and this was $35 I use it a lot for recharging batteries and stuff like that uh, next we have a coffee pot yeah, so if you want to be able to make coffee for a group or the whole camp this is like a 19 cup coffee perker and it's a nice heavy metal pot and it's enamel coated 
and it makes a lot of coffee. <laughs> Didn't we use that for ourselves one time? I bet we this made one it. we haven't. We had another one. This one oh. we just recently got. I had a different one that was a little bit smaller and yeah. it started leaking. But this oh. is a different brand and everything. But else. yeah, if you want to make coffee for your friends or whatever, party or drink in the morning. A, drink a gallon of coffee on your own. Yeah, um, go ahead. You, you can do it. <laughs> For only $56. And the next thing we have is like a little jet stove. Um, this is, uh, what's the brand? Firebird. It's kind of a knockoff of the more popular jet style stoves. But um, I've used it to heat up water for coffee and hot chocolate quite a bit. And it only takes a couple minutes. And you can also cook in it too. I just haven't really yet. Because usually I'm cooking more food for three of us. And we're doing it on the scottle a lot. But, yeah, <laughs> this just goes on to this fuel tank here, like that. And it has an igniter on it. And it's got an insulated little pot to boil your water in. And the water in here is just enough to fill up my Stanley French press, which I usually use to make coffee for just me and Stacy. But yeah, this stove is $55, and I think it's about half, a little over half the cost of, like, the more popular version of it. But it seems to work just the same and have any issues with it yet. And then we have the Stanley um, Adventure mm -hmm. All-in-One Boil and Brew French Press. So I've used this to heat up canned soup. I've made a lot of coffee in it. It has a French press insert, so if you want, you can boil water in here. I, I did that for a long time before I got the jet boil kind of stove. And uh, it takes a little longer just to get water boiling or hot enough to make coffee with this on top of a regular burner versus heating the water on the jet stove and then pouring it in here, which I've been doing since I got that. Um, so yeah, you get your hot water in there, your coffee grounds, and then you just slowly press them down after they've been sitting for however long you want. I usually let it go about 5-10 minutes. And then you got a nice way to pour your coffee, and all the grounds stay down in the bottom. That's a good idea. It's a little easy thing to do, so you don't have to carry a lot of stuff with you. Yeah. Only $26. <laughs> the next thing we have is a light. And the way this light works, you can use it like a hub style light. And it has multicolored colored string lights that flash or glow. And then it also has white LED lights. If you want to just use those like to light up, you can hang it from the top of a tent or a canopy or something. Or if you just want to hang different string levels. white lights, that's fine too. <laughs> yeah, so the string lights come out, oh, they're 32 feet long. So that's the, and they just kind of uncoil out of the back, or out of the side, and then you can coil them back up. <laughs> this just is like so that. fun. Yeah. Got a little decoration now. We use this when we lost power. <laughs> That was fun. Yeah, we got home one night and we didn't have any power, so we took all our camping lights and strung them up around the house. And it worked amazing. <laughs> this one here is $19.99, and it has a solar panel built into it you can use to recharge it during the day, or you can recharge it with a USB. And it has like an area light. It's like orange. And oh, that's right. Different that's brightness right. levels. Then it has a spotlight in the middle. And I think it has like a red beam too. Yeah. yeah. And then you can have it flash, kind of like an emergency light. So that's kind of nice. It's bright too. <laughs> for all the options you get for 20 bucks plus the solar charging option. Now this light here. This one. The one I accidentally grabbed. <laughs> you can, this has a big solar panel on it. And it actually does recharge. If, if I've used this all night. Leave it on overnight, and it really, yeah. if it's a sunny day, it'll recharge full power again by the next night. Okay. But it is 44 feet long, 
the ropes that come off of it. And it it's like it feels like a rope. It don't feel like a cord. And it's very heavy duty. Yeah. And it has three brightness levels. And it's fifty seven twenty seven, so you can get it it yeah, for fifty seven dollars. It's a better deal than I got when I bought it. <laughs> so it's really long too. The lights coil up around the base here so that they store into themselves. But this usually wraps around our 270 awning and part of our awning on the opposite side of the trailer. And it lights up around our trailer really nice all night long. So. Is it easy to wind up usually? Yeah, you just coil it back up. Whee. And you can also, this has a USB charging port for charging the battery that's built into it. And you can also charge your devices off the built-in battery. And it's, I think on the lowest brightness setting, it'll run for 40 hours, they claim. Which, I probably believe it because I know on high it'll run at least like 12 hours. So, before it starts to get dim. But yeah, this one was more expensive, but you can definitely tell the difference in quality. And the length of time the battery lasts. Like I said, I've left this on for multiple days before and on low and it just keeps on going. So is this like a hanger? This thing? Or yeah, like a carrier? It's a carrying handle and then yeah. you can un unhook it from there and hook it up on this side and loop it up to hang it off of something. Oh. Yep. That's cool. Next thing we have that we haven't really I'll used yet, but we got for next spring hopefully. Is some. Do hiking, I get this one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Some hiking packs. So. This is, this... These are pretty entry level. They're about fifty dollars. This is a seventy liter pack, and the one Alan has over here is a sixty liter pack. This purple one is either it's for me or my mom. If me and my dad sometimes go back. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, hiking around, <laughs> uh, which I want to do, I haven't, I haven't done that before. They come with a Where's rain before? cover that stores in the base of it. That Does mine does? Make, yep, that one does too, and it makes it like completely waterproof, and just like this, they're supposed to be pretty water resistant. I also feel heavy duty, so. <laughs> yep. And that is and they're soft 49. Packs, but they have a lot of support built into them at the same time, so. It should be work out pretty good for just a couple nights or single night yep. backpack. And How much trip. is that, Dad? How much is it? Around uh, the, the orange one was forty nine ninety nine. I'm not sure, and the blue one. The the blue one it will probably, probably about be, the same. Yeah, or maybe less. And one thing we recently got for our trailer, which we like, which is nice when you're like getting ready in the morning. It's just a little mirror. Yep. Travel mirror and it comes with a hook that you can hang it on, but that's stuck to the wall in our kitchen. Yeah, we, we hit. Oh, we I thought and we and this it is on. only three dollars and 69 cents. Yes, it works good because then when I get ready in the morning, or like I, I have to go on my tippy toes, but I can still like brush my teeth, brush my hair, so it works. So then my hair doesn't get uneven or whatever, but yeah, it works good. I like it. And these I picked up for this winter. For my boots, um, we got some for Stacy earlier this year, but they are um, ice cleats. These just stretch around your shoe or your boot, and then they have little they spikes sharp. on the bottom. And those were only sixteen dollars. They come with a nice and kind seventy nine uh, cents. <laughs> uh, soft, hard case kind of deal to put them in keep them stored and make sure they don't get lost go along with the hiking ice cleats we got some trekking poles and these were $25 and they come with a bunch of different ends you can use on them like a round smooth end um, they come with the end for snow and this kind of little angled foot or this small foot just for regular hiking um the way these ones work 
There's they're adjustable by height. There you can adjust the height up here. And on the bottom here, there's a little button you press in to take them down. And there's just like a steel cable that runs through them. And you can fold them right up. And then when you pull it tight, that cable holds it all together. And then they come with a storage bag. There's the other one in the storage bag. But yeah, they're a pretty nice hiking poles. We got some that we've been using for probably oh, like four years now. Snow Sometimes sharing. I use them yeah. too if I get tired. So I figured it was time to get a couple new ones. Next we have some kids' wool hiking socks. And I got these. So they're boys and girls, and then of course I got girls. Um, I got two pairs to show you because they come in multicolor. So uh, I got like these unicorn ones, and they're really warm inside. I always wear them camping. They're when you wear tennis shoes, though, it's hard to put the tennis shoes on if like I'm the person who doesn't tie. I, I'm the person who doesn't untie my shoes and then tie my shoes. I try to fit my foot in my shoe without untying it. So when I do wear these, I do have to untie my shoes because they're thicker. Yeah. So that that's the only thing I don't like about them. But other than that, they're pretty warm. So this is the purple kind right here. And then there's like also like different theme kind of, I yeah, guess. They... Like you can get like unicorn. I also got like these cat ones in my room. And the, it looks like we're looking at like a star one on here, I guess. Snowflakes. Snowflakes. There's all different kinds of patterns. and. But... If, whatever pattern you want, they still work great, and they're really warm, and they're just, they they work great. And you get six pairs for $13.99. And they work great. So the next thing is this table that everything else is sitting on. Um, the whole table folds up, and uh, the top rolls up. It's satisfying to and, listen to. And there's a storage bag by Alan here that it all fits into. And we actually have two tables like this, and they're really nice for cooking on because they're all metal. So, and they're kind of coated, so they're easy to wipe off if you get any food or grease on them. And the bag is like drawstring, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's nice having a solid metal table that folds up into a small space. And we yeah. can carry two or three of these with us, and it takes up less space than our big lifetime plastic folding table. And this table is $69.99. And then after that, we have a step stool that works good if you have a camper, like a teardrop or something and a short person and you're parked on a slope and they're on the low side of the slope <laughs> it has adjustable feet so if the ground isn't even you can make one leg longer than the others if you need to or the step stool is good for anything too you can use anything for it yeah you can use it around the house okay. um whatever you want and the legs fold up on it too so you can like storage it basically Yep, so packing it away in the vehicle. What's that beep sound in it? It's like a beep sound. Anyway. It's all aluminum. It's got grippy tape on it. Oh, that's what it is called. Yeah, it's on, the, on the sides, it's kind of like a glow-in-the-dark tape. That's cool. Yeah. And that is $39.99. And the next thing is RV leveling blocks that we use for, I've used them for the truck or the trailer. When we're out camping, yep. sometimes if I want to level the truck for sleeping in the tent, or if I just want to raise the back end of the truck to level the trailer without unhooking the trailer, you drive up on these, and it comes with another wedge that you use to lock it in place once you get it up as high as you want it to be. And they come with a nice carrying bag. I'm sure you can see it from up there. Okay, so. Yeah, they come with this bag here, and... Um, like a little stick-on level and some mats to put down underneath and keep them from sliding. Yeah. Overall, it's a pretty nice set for what it is. And, and it is $45.99. We have this collapsible sink here, or a tub, uh, like a tub, but we use it to do dishes a lot and just to store stuff in for the kitchen. I like I like it. It's nice because it's kind of like a rubber wall on the side, so 
Wait. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Yep. And it works great. Yep, there's a, a large variety of options. And there's different colors, too. For these, and they're about $15. And something I've been using all summer camping that I really like that I picked up this year was wooden utensils. So I bought these to go along with our Scottle that we got this spring. And um, I've been using them for that, for cast iron. We have some copper coated pans I use them for. Pretty much anything that you don't want to use metal on where you're going to damage the surface. And even though I, I use metal on cast iron too, but these work good, pretty good for it. You can really scrape at whatever. So two nice spatulas and two wooden spoons and uh, for only $17.98. One of the last couple of things that I really like is these microfiber quick drying towels. We oh, have yes, a, I love uh... a hand towel and it has like a magnet built into it so you can stick it up on anything metal and it'll stick to it. And then we have a bath towel. We each have one of these. And they, these ones don't have magnets to hang them, but they have um, like a little strap, like a hook and loop or a button or something where you can tie it off on something to hang it. And it dries really fast, but really? it's warm and sunny out. So the bath towels yeah. are $16.99, and the hand towel is $15.99. Yeah, they're yeah. definitely nice to have if you're camping or trying to pack light. And then I think, well, Adeline, one thing she likes to bring along with her is her binoculars. I got an Ozark trail. It's like an outdoor equipment, and it's... It's a 10 by 25 compact binoculars. Includes case, cleaning cloth, and strap. So I'll open this. Um, but yeah, I like bringing them if we do like bird watching. Um, usually, when whenever we go camping, I bring them. We go on hikes, I bring them. They just work really well. Right? One other thing we have is stickers, stickers. with our logo on it. So we have a two and a half inch and a three inch sticker. Um, if anybody would like one, just send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. And we can probably mail you one for a couple dollars or something. Yes. So I hope you guys got some good ideas for gifts. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.